Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Retail and our Alliance Shaman leveling campaign. Starting off here at Falconhurst, we've already picked up a quest to go in and slay 15 Briarwood monsters. Let's talk to the captive villager here and see what his deal is. The villager is held captive by a binding rune. Destroying the rune should free the villager. This land is cursed. Alright, so we're also freeing eight villagers. Hope you guys are doing well today. And thank you for being here, for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time with me in Azeroth. I really do appreciate it. Just probably start in on some of these guys. I have to say, I'm getting pretty excited about uh, Dragonflight, the upcoming pre-patch, the impending release. Seeing the new talent trees, checking out the new professions, getting on a direct the Revoker is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and though with the pre-patch probably coming out on the 25th, from what I understand, I don't think we're going to be getting the Evokers as soon as the pre-patch opens up. I think we're going to get the system changes first, it seems like, and then maybe the week after that we will get the evokers their starting experience uh, and then the pre-patch events so yeah either way the next few weeks should be a really good time for World of Warcraft and for anybody who's been away from the game for a long time I would say definitely give Dragonflight a chance they're being so responsive throughout the testing period with their feet, with acting on feedback, taking feedback, acting on it. Uh, it's been a really big change in their entire philosophy of how they implement changes and all that stuff. It's been a good testing period. This guy is a quest mob that we don't need. I think we just kind of got stuck in this combat. But we'll go ahead and help finish him off. Let's move out of this. There we go. Alright, let's get Lightning Shield up. Let's refresh our weapon buffs. So that's good. And let's get back into it. We need to be keeping an eye out for the villagers. Seems like they're going to be on the periphery of the village. Alright, that's all of the villagers that we need. Now we're just working through the kill quest. Which we could probably pull a little bit more. Let's grab this guy. We should probably heal up. That would be a good idea. I'm 
kind of thinking that we're definitely going to have time to get at least one more Alliance character on the Stormrage server to cap before Dragonflight goes live, not counting the Evoker, which we will also cap. But with the Evoker, we're not going to have the uh, Winds of Wisdom experience buff. But I think with the changes coming in the pre-patch, they've made significant changes to how long it takes to level anyway. And quite frankly, leveling in retail has been fast for like the last five years. So yeah, I don't see us having any difficulty getting an evoker leveled up. I'm pretty sure they start at a higher level as well. I don't think they start at level one. Unless they change something uh, from the last iteration I was aware of. Okay, we're done with the kill quest. But yeah, I was wondering what else would you guys like to see on the Alliance side after we get our Shami here to max level. Uh, my goal in Dragonflight is to heal and or range DPS. So we could do a Priest. We could go Shadow Discipline. We could do a Druid. At least in retail with the druid, I can get star form for in place of moonkin form. Well done, you've thinned their numbers. Fair winds and following seas. The rallying for a heavy assault. We'll need to defend these barricades from attack. Are you with me? Strike true. Farewell. Okay, uh, let's go strong. ahead and start. We're gonna stand firm. We'll hold the line here. Be wary of the woods. I'll lay down a healing stream totem. It, it, it can't hurt. Uh, apparently the NPCs are just going to annihilate everything unless we get out here in front of them. Oh dear. Yeah, he's rather large. Zap zap? Well, he's not an elite. So we have that going for us. Let's call our wolves out. Let's go ahead and summon our earth elemental, which I don't think we've summoned a single other time. We'll let him do a little bit of work. Earn his place on our hotbar. Well, we completed the event, but apparently the waves still come in. Let's get this turned in. Well met, champion. That witch, she must be the one guiding these attacks. We will take the wrist. Remain steadfast. We have given the defender some breathing room, but these creatures continue to lay siege to the barricade. The witch behind the attack fled from the field when we defeated her forces. I saw her go into the mansion on the hill. I will keep the defenses going here. You must go into the mansion and slay the witch. Farewell. Well, that's pessimistic of you. We'll avoid the obvious joke here. I really like how a lot of the combats, especially against named enemies, they take a little while. Yeah, it takes some time. You don't just walk up and kill them in a few hits. Even when they're not elites. I, and I'm really, I've really, really been enjoying that in this playthrough. Okay, so that's done. 
Oh, let me take a look at something here. One of you guys did let me know that what I need to do is read things, and that the dice we're getting is because of the trinket. Your attacks and abilities have a chance to roll the loaded dice, gaining random combinations of mastery, haste, and crit strike for 15 seconds. So yeah, mystery solved. Thank you for leaving that in the comments. I think I moused over the trinket and, you know, did not absorb anything, even though it's... Now that I look at it, it looks like a dice. It looked like a brownie <laughs> at first. A nice, delicious, sweet treat. Um, but upon closer inspection, I can I can see the, the dots on it now. Kind of makes sense, right? I don't know why you wouldn't just make a dice, like, dice-colored. I mean, bone-colored would be a good color for dice to be easily distinguishable in a small little icon on my screen. But hey, you know, I could just read. Don't let any of those monsters through! We killed their behemoth! We lost too many boats. Okay, let's grab the flight Don't point. Let any of those monsters through. We killed their behemoth, but we lost too many boats. Yes, yes, I got that. I'm coming to click on you. Be patient. Hello there. We wouldn't have been able to hold out much longer. You saved us all. Farewell. Oh, cool. And Will then a bonus crashed? objective pops up. Walk with me. I haven't seen him, but I did see his apprentice. We cannot thank you enough for showing up when you did, Lieutenant. My title is Inquisitor now, Mayor. Lady Lucille has reforged the Order of Embers to combat these witches. She has? I thought they were just a legend. They were real. They are real. Lady Lucille is determined to take back our lands and our people. If she does that, she'll have my full support. And we disappear into the thin air. <laughs> okay. We could use your help here in Drasbar. Master Ashton had me grab some healing supplies and run to Mayor Royston when those things attacked town. He didn't make it behind the barricade. But if he's alive, and he's just crazy enough that he might be, he's probably holed up in his cottage. With caustic compounds and explosives. Look, why don't you go check out his basement? I'll stay out of the blast ray. I mean, I'll go see if the garden can be salvaged. Try not to look flammable. Um, the attack on Falconhurst was die. fierce. I hope Master Ashton is still alive. Alright, so we have the bonus objective, destroy any signs of witchcraft, which I feel like is something we've done before. Uh, I could saw some quests. I'm going to check the lab's gardens, Inquisitor. You said that. Thanks for recanting, though. Uh, what's, let's go over here and uh, pick up some quests. We have a wanted poster. For numerous and sinister crimes against the Lord Admiral, smuggling, forgery, sailing under false colors, looting, poaching, brigandry, slacking, pillaging, vandalism, impersonating cult and naval officers, arson, kidnapping, torture, piracy, perjury, and theft, and ransacking multiple mead shipments. A reward is placed on the heads of the Crimson Cutthroats to be paid in full upon proof of their demise. Ah, uh, let's see. It says there's a quest in here. Maybe it's outside. Does not seem to be outside. Oh, I, I'm just not able to see yellow upon yellow, apparently. Which side is starboard again? I was playing with the Lord and Lady Sharptooth when Papa made me made me come with him. I dropped poor Sharptooth and one of those big mean monsters... Oh, it's a toy. Okay. Papa said he tried to get him back, but he's been gone a long time. I think he got busy. Mama and all the adults are busy doing stuff for Mayor Royce, and I hope her dad didn't get killed looking for her toy. That's gonna make me incredibly sad and upset. Lady Sharptooth and I are really sad. Can you beat up that mean monster and save my dino? Yeah, I hope that's all we have to do. Hope we don't have to scrape up your dad's remains or something. Okay, um, that's good. Let's head out. That looks like a pretty big sign of witchcraft.
we will head into these buildings as well. Or rather, into the cellar in this case. And we'll fight whatever is just kind of in the path here. Alright, we've got Lord Sharptooth rescued here, but uh, we have to wait for this thing to respawn before that happens. Also, some uh, dead creatures here of the murderous variety. Let's head back up and we'll, we'll just fight stuff outside till he respawns. Maybe we can head over to this one. I'm assuming the yellow dot maybe means that they're currently up, so let's take a peek down here. Stand back! I have alchemy, and I know how to use okay, it. Okay, this is Master Ashton. Master Ashton. We're friendly. Well, don't you both look dangerous? Ah, is the attack over then? Uh, we need your help. Of course, I'm not certain why you would need my help, but for saviors of my home, you shall have it. You might have to wait a little bit, however. I am sure the town is in shambles. Until next time. It is, yeah. I appreciate your help in liberating the town. I was becoming quite concerned by these strange monsters. Remember, measure twice, pour once. I imagine the fire spread while I was down here, yes. First order of business, then, making sure the town doesn't burn down. Help solve that problem, and I shall be free to assist you in... whatever it is? Let's see, yes, here, take these. They prove to be too intense for most people, but you seem like a stout sort. Like a stout sort? Is that a dwarf joke, man? Are you... are you... Are you ripping on dwarves? Just be sure you're facing the fire when you use them, and I'm certain those fires will be out in no time. Fair winds to you. Alright, so put the fires out. Let's go check for our buddy down here. Master so Ashton, gathered. we have but been sent me? by Lady Lucille. Lady Lucille has reforged oh, the order gosh. of embers using ancient texts as our guide. We we missed the cutscene? These witches, as we once battled the Drust. Is that it? Is there more? I really hope that in Dragonflight they nail their... their little stay a while and listens. So that they go off, like, they, so that they start when you're nearby. That would be ideal. Like, not when you're... 50 yards away. I just kind of want them to go off when I get nearby, and uh, that way I have the opportunity to stay and listen a while. I am very glad to hear you put up those Master fires Ashton. and I'll set up what we need in This the is, yeah. Oh, what fun this will be. This stuff is sequenced really poorly. I, I don't really know what else I can do about it besides staying there forever. Here we go. Mighty Slam did not look avoidable. Poison is definitely avoidable. And there we go, there's Lord Sharptooth. And we didn't find her dad yet, so he's probably dead somewhere. We do have another quest that popped up over here. Let's go check out what this is about. I hope 
you're ready to work. We could use your help here. Building defenses. We'll be able to push those monsters back now, but my defenders won't stand a chance unless we build a forward barricade for protection. There should be plenty of lumber to build a barricade near the entrance to town. Good luck. All right. So now we're also collecting lumber while we are clicking on other things to progress the bonus objective. And I'm assuming lumber looks like this, a wooden plank. Maybe lumber can take many forms. Let's see, I see two wooden planks. Yeah, it looks like it's all going to be these wooden planks. So here's the guy's workshop. Glad he got that going. I guess outside would be the safest place to have an alchemy workshop. I mean, if it's in a building, you have to assume that eventually that building's gonna get blown up. But that being said, uh, maybe like putting a covering over it for inclement weather would be a smart move. Some of these bonus objectives do take a, a while to, uh, to clear them. Even if you're fighting guys and clicking on objectives, it just takes a while to push that bar all the way through. Kind of wondering about how we're going to level this character through Shadowlands content, whether or not we're going to do the campaign and see, just do that until that gets us to level, or rather do, or would we rather do Threads of Fate? I tried Threads of Fate once way back in the day when they, when it first existed on a death night. And uh, yeah, some of the side questing was interesting. I mean, ultimately, I also tried to quest in Revendreth, which I think aesthetically is my least favorite zone, so that was probably a dumb idea. I probably should have went to, like, Ardenweald. Or even Bastion would have been more aesthetically pleasing. I wish they could make it so you could just level a character in the 9.2 content, like level a character with the Zareth Mortis content. Uh, the questing, the bonus objectives, the world quest, like, just, just let me do that. That would be a pretty cool way to, to level up from 50 to 60. I think once we get into the Dragonflight pre-patch, the it, you're no longer going to go from, you know, from Battle for Azeroth while you're leveling up into Shadowlands. Shadowlands is going to become a Chromie Time campaign that you will not get to do unless you go to Chromie and tell her that you want to level through Shadowlands content. And then that would be your leveling experience, otherwise you'll never see it. No one will ever see it. 
So a new player, is new to the game, new account, uh, on their first character, they won't they won't even have a choice. They will never see Shadowlands unless they go do a subsequent character, go to Chrome Me, and go do the Shadowlands content. And I think that's probably for the best. Some of the stories and visuals and stuff in Shadowlands were really good. But overall, it's uh, part of the lore that I'm sure they wouldn't mind seeing kind of rinsed away. Or just greatly minimized in its overall importance. Uh, we are extinguishing fires would be a great idea. We could have been doing some of this all along. That's kind of what happens when we get like 15 objectives in one small area. My tiny little brain doesn't always keep track of them all at the same time. Twenty, 20 fires is a lot of fires to put out. We just did a fire quest in Classic the other day. Pretty much the same thing, except we had to hit the fires multiple times. Now, that fire did not go out. I'm wondering if we just leave that one alone. So I, can't I can't control the angle of this thing. Can we move while this is going on? Oh, we can. Okay, well that's cool. That makes the possibility of getting multiple fires... Well, not realistic, but possible. It's possible to do it. Is this fire supposed to be going? That's the question. Um, oh, we're getting burned because we're too close. That fire is supposed to be going, yeah. Did not go out. There we go, we got two fires at one time. There we go. Are we basically putting out all the fires? Is that what's happening? Yeah, we put out all the fires that I can see. Except for the main fire here that seems like it's supposed to be going on. Uh, we didn't finish the quest obje- the bonus objective. Let's get these turned in. I hope you're ready to work. Uh, we will take the boots. Fair winds and following seas. Which got upgraded to a blue. Always welcome. Okay. Let's see if we can snag a few more of these guys and maybe finish the bonus objective here. I might regret this. I might regret this. Well, we lived, and uh, it was close, though. We ran out of mana. Very interesting. We can take four guys, but we have to keep our, our health up, and it, it does cost us quite a bit of mana. It's a fine day for a little applied alchemy. I've been studying the parchment Lady Lucille sent with you and have translated some of the older language. They called it liquid fire and it was used to burn away the drust. 
Using this as a basis, I believe we can adapt it to our needs. Now, this is a complex recipe, but it just so happens I have everything we need to make this potent alchemical weapon. I will need your assistance in creating this. Would you be so kind as to help? I don't know why he doesn't have a portrait here. It must be an immersion problem. Until next time, friend. Uh, are we gonna have to like get toss things into other things by clicking on things? Fair winds, yeah, we are. It's one of those. Uh, okay, we need to add some salt pewter. Okay, there we go. Let's see what else. Volatile sap. Salt pewter, volatile sap. More drops of volatile sap. Some sulfur, which was over here, I thought. There we go. Volatile sap again, it's his favorite. Some hearth, hearth bloom. Hearth bloom. Excellently done, we should be able to use this. Okay, perfect, we're done. What challenges await us Wonderful, today, it smells friend. a bit strong, but I think it will burn those wooden constructs well. Now it's time to test it out. Remember, measure twice. Now that we have these months. lovely liquid fire flasks prepared, we have one last thing to do. Test them out. There are some of those large abominations lurking about in the woods above my home. I think they would make excellent test subjects for our little alchemical experiment, wouldn't you say? Fair winds to you. They would. Let's snag one more of these guys, maybe two. We're at 98%. And we, we most definitely just want to get this done. Before we peel out of here. There we go. Uh, do we have a quest to turn in down here? Yes, let's go get our turn-ins done. Also, before we run out of here. This is going back to the little girl, right? Do you have scurvy? You saw someone? My papa? I haven't seen my mama in a while. I hope she's okay. So, did we find that guy dead? Was that guy really dead? He died trying to get this stuffed animal back for this girl? I don't like shit like that. <laughs> I don't like stories like that. That's just unnecessarily brutal. Um, okay. Well. We have a wanted poster. We have the Briarwood Bulwark. So, yeah. Let's... Let's move on. Uh, yeah, it, g it gave us a template. Uh, that is not where we need that to go. Uh, that might miss. Okay, good, he turned around. Perfect. Seems pretty effective to me. Oh no, it just pissed him off, yeah. Now he's a flaming, ticked off tree monster. That's even better than being a normal tree monster. So they're on fire and angry. I'm pretty sure that was a complete whiff.
That was a good fear. Guess I toyed with him a little bit too long. Uh, that guy's an elite. I, I don't think we need to mess with him necessarily. Oh, hi there. Uh, can we do this while you're hitting us? It turns out that yes, we can. Does that count, though? It does count. Perfect. Okay, from here, before we go back and turn this in, let's head over and do the wanted poster stuff. I think that would be okay. Um, okay, I have to believe that maybe there's a cave here somewhere. Possibly there's a cave. Let's find a sensible way down that doesn't just leave us dead from gravity. And yeah, there is a cave. Oh, they're all in here. Uh, lightning shield has worn off. Let's get that back up. Ouch. Oh, shite. Let's get our boys in here. We need every trick we can if we're going to live through this. And we need some heals. We'll do stone form as well. Okay. Now we might live, we really have to kill one of them, like, pretty quickly here. Which is not happening. Uh, these guys are not going down. And yeah, that's... he has a crazy amount of health. And what we don't have is, uh, mana. We got one of them. You'd think that would mean it should get easier, but without mana, we're screwed here. Oh, this is bad, guys. This is crazy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, no. We reincarnated too soon? Oh, no. I thought we'd have, like, a little bit of invincibility when we reincarnated, but no. Okay, um, all we can hope for is that the one guy stays dead and that we can somehow get the two of them. That was incredibly tough. Oh, okay. Maybe we can pull this one on our own. Pull way back here. We'll have to pull it like we're playing Classic, basically. This is harder than stuff that we fight in Classic Wrath right now. Definitely more challenge. Uh, all of our buffs are still in place, that's good. Let's start like this. Oh, no, no, no. We gotta get her without him. Okay, good. He didn't He didn't come with. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we can't afford to fight all three of them. So it's not gonna work. We don't have any cooldowns right now. Well, our, our wolves are about to be back up. And we're definitely gonna use them on cooldown here. Okay. Great. Uh, this is where I really wish I had some water. We just I don't have any water because I'm not used to needing to replenish my mana. 
they, you know, they don't really need you to do that most of the time. Um, but yeah, there we go. Let's let it fill back up. I want to pull this one on his own if I can pull him over here. That'd be good. Then we can back him up. All right, we're going to have to back him way up because he's going to be shooting at us. Let's try to get out of his range. And that should be good right there. That was an enjoyable bit of work there. Yeah, I, I like that they had a lot of health. I like that they hit hard. And I know it's probably just like the scaling and how it works out with the class. It's probably not that way on every class that you'd level through here. Uh, but I enjoy it. I tried my best to fight them off. Okay, uh, let's just stand over here. Did, Tell us what happened. The woods. We fought. Master Ashton shoved me aside and they took him. Oh boy. We have to get him back. So they took you him. Want my assistance? I, I tried to help them, but I couldn't. They've taken Master Ashton into the woods. We will get him back. Just sit. You probably have things you should be doing. Love it when people park their giant flying mounts right on top of uh, quest givers. We shall drive back the darkness. Master Ashton has been taken into the forest. He isn't the only one. Mayor Royston's headcount came up short. It seems that our next steps are clear. We must go into the woods and save Master Ashton. Martin and I will sneak into the forest and meet you near some ruins further in. Strike true. Okay, sure. Let's go turn this in. I like how they're like in multiple places at once. This is a problem that needs to be fixed as well. These NPCs were supposed to have rode off, you know, to go meet us. I don't want to then turn around and see them 15 feet behind where I just was, where I watched them ride off. It, it doesn't make any sense, and it's a little bit immersion breaking. You finally got those damnable outlaws? Well done. My people have enough trouble here without having to deal with brigands. Farewell. And he is done with us. Okay. We are going north and w and west. The woods are crawling with witches. We'll have to fight on our hands. We'll have to fight. We have a fight on our hands, even if we're to save Master Ashton. Robert Reed's take two. I believe I see Master Ashton in a cage. He must be freed. Those witches with the long mask appear to be in charge. I bet they would have the means to open his cage. I will remain here to protect Apprentice Webb and keep the area secure. Fair winds and following seas. Oh, no. What now? Master Ashton's gonna probably need something bracing once we get him free. I know of a quick potion guaranteed to get anyone to snap out of it, but I'm gonna need a few things first. 
Those wicker dogs down there have some organic parts that I can use and the witches are carrying bags of reagents. They'll almost certainly have what I need. Bring those to me and I'll handle the rest once we get Master Ashton back. Oh, much to do, much to do. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just come right on down here. I wonder if we can use it on them too, probably, if I could time it. I certainly the will. I've seen. The horror. The horror. He's seen some horrible things. My blade is ready. Hey. I need to get out of here and get back to Falconhurst. My husband and I were looking for my daughter's favorite toy when I was taken. Please, I need to get out of here. I need to know my family is safe. Well, the little girl is safe. The husband's probably dead if you're alive. They took my gear, it's all around camp. Get me out of here, then bring back my gear. The only good witch is a dead witch. Alright, you're free. We will go. I need a moment. I've been trying to break this cage for hours. Good. The cage has vanished, which is weird. But it's fine. So she's got some actual equipment we're gonna pick up for her, and I'm assuming she's gonna put it on and be a badass. There we go. Certifiable badass mom. It's awesome. Alright, so while we are here, let's get organic matter and bags of reagents. We haven't really gotten any loot for the quest. Although we've killed a few things, maybe we're not fighting the right things. Could be that we're not fighting the right things. Yeah, Hexwood Seers have the reagents. And then the mongrel. So yeah, we just haven't been fighting the right stuff. Okay, now we just need some more of the mongrels. We need, uh, what, one more? You're not a mongrel. 
Well, you are, but you're not being marked for there. There's timber mongrels and wildwood mongrels, and the wildwood ones do not have the item we need. Two more. Okay. We are just a little aggro magnet. Hey, at least we got the item. Oh, she met up with them too. That's awesome. How might I help? We had a few visitors while you were gone, but I took care of them. Ashton's back and safe, though it appears he's seen some horrors in there. Remain steadfast. Uh, I would love to see the damn NPCs, though. Thank you. Worries me there should be a radius of like five feet or two yards or something around and inside of all NPCs that are quest givers that dismounts people. Did you have any luck? We did. Hmm, very interesting and pungent. Perhaps my first order of business will be something to remove the smell. Uh, we want... The hands. You probably have things you should be doing. I'm using some rather strong grog as a base. A drop of chili extract and a handful of hearth bloom. There we go. Martin hands you a mug. It will taste worse than it smells, but it will bring Master Ashton to his senses. Please give him this mug. Oh, much to do, much to do. Shall we get started? <laughs> Master Ashton, are you back with us? Drusfar stands firm. It's a the fine day, day for a little applied alchemy. A bit, with, a bit less hearth bloom next time, Martin, but that did just the trick. Well done, both of you. Remember, measure twice, pour once. Friend or foe. Thank you, I'll cut a, ba a path back to Falconhurst. They will pay for what happened to my family. We're not going to see you again? Glory to House Waycrest. Well, that's sad. I thought I she was going to, like, come along. Your daughter is safe in town. Right. Be careful heading back. Thank you. I'm sorry I can't stay. Don't worry. They won't get me twice. But we liked you. We shall drive back the darkness. We need to go deeper into the forest. The witches are clearly up to something even worse than I'd imagined. As much as I have a duty to return to Lady Lucille with Master Ashton, I also have a duty to find out more about this threat to our people and stop it if I can. Going further into the forest without knowing without 
It's not without risk, but I believe it is one worth taking. Be wary of the woods. Master Ashton. Whoops. Will you see this to the end? I will indeed. Martin and I shall stay. Fantastic. There seem to be a great deal of activity at the ruins near the giant tree. Then we shall meet our friend there. Good luck, champion. Stay close, gentlemen, and we'll sneak through the witch's lines. The witches spoke of a grand right to call forth their master. They're not done yet. Master, a malevolent being who grants them power. I have heard his rage echoing in the darkness. Their master hates the Kaltirans with every fiber of his being. Even the witches are mere pawns in his bid to return to our realm. Based on what I overheard while held captive, I suspect this entity is connected to the Drust. Not just any Drust. Their leader, I would wager. The being Aram Waycrest fought against in ages past. A millennia-old spirit bent on vengeance who wants to kill us all. Lovely. We must stop this grand right at all costs. I got this, guys. Keep going. But I don't want to miss anything, so... Wait up. <laughs> They're sneaking, we're just aggroing everything along the way. Looks like they're done with their bit of roleplay, though. Then I guess we're just gonna fight everything <laughs> the entire way there. And strong. By my ancestors' anchors, that is a large army. Is it? At least it doesn't appear to be mobile yet, and the tree, clearly it is the focus of their efforts. Strike true. Alright, guys, I think this Fair is going to be following seas. a pretty good place for us to have a little break. And we will pick up the plot right here next time. Looking at the map and the places that we've been, uh, I feel like we're going to finish up this place pretty soon. We are level 43. We have some things we can do back in uh, Tear Guard Sound if we want to. We have a quest to turn in. Uh, we could also go into Stormsong Valley. I was kind of thinking of sa saving Stormsong if we could for another character down the road. But we might have to go in there. We will see exactly where Drustvar gets us. Uh, because obviously the goal is 50. Once we hit 50, they're going to push us into, sh into Shadowlands. And then we've only got 10 levels from there, so yeah. I've been having a lot of fun on the Shaman. I've been having a lot of fun in retail. I've been having a lot more fun than I thought I was going to have when I started this playthrough. And I want to say thank you to you guys for being here for it. I truly do appreciate all the support. It does mean the world to me. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.